Greetings. Um, today I wanted to uh, just overall talk about the uh, <clears throat> Saw franchise. Um, not about any individual movie, though I guess I'll probably speak about the original more than, say, the sequels, perhaps, but um, I guess in a general sense, uh, though that could always change, but still, um, obviously I got this set not that long ago. I decided to put the <clears throat> this image from the first film here, because you can always change it out and all, but yeah, I showed those all earlier uh, when I got this, but this was a very good set. Uh, it is a uh, it is a good set. Uh, not was um, has all the films so far for the twentieth anniversary. So yeah, twenty years ago the first movie came out and made for like a little over a million dollars, like one point one million or so. Became a huge film. And obviously spawned a franchise. Now, people talk about these films as all just being blood and guts and um, people in traps. Uh, uh, that, you know, if they fail, they die in a uh, horrific uh, fashion. And that is very true for uh, really the sequels. The first film, it was more like a psychological horror thriller than a flat-out blood-and-guts kind of movie that people often think of this film. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there were there was blood. Um, um, and interestingly enough, um, you know, they had the unrated cut of the film in theaters uh, this month uh, earlier. For, uh, the first time and uh, the first film they had to cut out a total of eight seconds in order for it to be rated R because you know those eight seconds w were just clearly way too intense for everybody to watch and uh, all it does is just show some more blood not really any gore um, to say just Basically, a bit more blood. And uh, the first film had Carrie Always and uh, Danny Glover, Monica Potter, uh, Shawnee Smith. Um, uh, Michael Emerson, Ken uh, Long, Ellie Ewan. NG, I don't, I don't believe I've really watched a bunch of things with him before. Tobin Bell, of course, and uh, Lee Wanell, who was the writer of this film. And uh, yeah, that first film was uh, directed by James Wan, who has made other films, you know, some with Lee Wanell and um, others without. Um, but even then, like even in Aquaman, when he finally decided to depart in like horror for a bit and really do a <clears throat> uh, a superhero film, uh, Lee Wan L had a cameo as a pilot. So yeah, uh, James Wan and Lee Wan L created the story, but the script was written by. Uh, Lee Wan L, who played Adam in the first film, chained with Dr. Gordon, played by Carrie Elways, and uh, of course, there's, you know, the Jigsaw Killer, who put them into the bathroom. And uh, who is the Jigsaw Killer? Well, <clears throat> well, we find out who it is by the end of the film, but, you know, up until then, y y you're not sure. Just this voice, and you see a puppet. Go, you know, Billy the puppet is as uh, he's he, he is known. Going, oh, I want to play a game or something like that. That <clears throat> have to clear my throat. 
because I've been able to do it fairly well before. Yeah. He has a very great voice. And Tobin Bell's voice is excellent. I want to play a game. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how better that was. Regardless. Yeah, this franchise uh, went on for seven straight years. From 2004 to 2010. Seven films. And um, th those films were very good. I mean, some sequels be like, you know, some entries not as very, not very good, perhaps. You know, and rewatching these movies again, because it's been some time since I watched all of them. And of course, I had never, se never seen Spiral before, so that was something. First impressions was I. Mm, it's kind of meh on the whole thing. Um, I got Jigsaw before. You know, I have all these on DVD beforehand and then the Blu-ray of the seventh film with special features as well as um, a Jigsaw. Oh, Jigsaw, interestingly enough, was the first Saw entry to not ever have to uh, be recut. They submitted the film once and got an R right away. Uh, and so for this set, the first seven are all unrated, but then the last three are not. You know, Jigsaw got to be rated R right off, off the bat, but then <clears throat> I think Spiral still had to do some stuff. And Spiral, it's, and it's interesting, you know, Spiral is sort of like Creed, you know. Within the world of, you know, within the Rocky world, but... You would never call Creed uh, Rocky Seven because it isn't Rocky Seven for it to be Rocky Seven. Rocky has to be the main character, the in the sense that he is the focus. He is not. Same with uh, Saw. You know, the Jigsaw Killer would have to be uh, the main focus to. Though I guess you could say, you know. Carrie is, is Dr. Gordon is more of a main character and also um Danny Glover's Detective Tap who believes he has something to do with the killer the killings and stuff of people being put into traps and everything um because his pen light was found at the scene of a crime so you know they uh, uh determined from that um you know, he has to be involved in somehow, at least he does. And, um, so, yeah. Once the Jigsaw, uh, story wasn't originally ended in 2010, you know, they did have come back and were able to continue on. It was interesting, though, of course, with Jigsaw, it's sort of weird. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, with the whole... It's interesting, and now some people are very mixed on that, and I am too. And Spiral, um, yeah, Spiral is, yeah, I'm fairly mixed. But again, I'm kind of put off track, but yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah, what you could say he's sort of a main character, but Jigsaw is a main character in the first film, too. It's just he's like that presence that's there. You might not see much of him, but when he shows up and it's like, oh boy. <laughs> you know, the guy, he puts people into traps and he wants everybody to live. So he puts you in a situation where essentially the idea is, if you've never watched these movies, is if he picks people who he doesn't think value their lives. And so for you to truly value your life, you have to pretty much experience a, a life or death situation where you're like this, you could be this close from death. And then if you live, you appreciate life and you will straighten your entire life out and you will, won't ever have to be like tested or anything again. Um, Um, but yeah, with Spiral, you have a uh, Chris Rock, and uh, he's a detective, 
and uh, uh, a new series of uh, killings are going around. Sort of reminiscent of Jigsaw. Uh, the Jigsaw case. And he uh, is trying to figure out who it is. And yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson was in it, and he was good. But yeah, I don't know. I'd have to probably rewatch it again sometime. Like it wasn't a horrendous, overtly like garbage movie or anything. But it was like one of those where it's like, okay, well that was something. And then Saw Ten, which. In a way, you know, Saw 10 should be Saw 9, because it's the, I mean, Spiral is technically the, obviously the ninth installment in the franchise, but again, without Jigsaw being a big focus, usually, you know, that's just left as a spinoff, so you can call it Saw 9, that's a, you know, it's Spiral from the Book of Saw, and, uh, like, Creed, they're not Rocky 7, 8, 9. They're Creed, Creed 2, and Creed 3. <clears throat> I don't know if there'll ever be a Spiral 2, but, you know, uh, I know it didn't make a whole lot of money, and people were very, you know, at best mixed. <laughs> Let's just say that. And, uh, yeah, but with the next installment, uh, uh, you know, Saw 10, though again, one could say, should be Saw 9, but that's whatever. Uh, it was really good, you know. Uh, I'll just say that that was, that was probably one of my favorite entries into the Saw uh, franchise. And you wouldn't think uh, the 10th the installment of a franchise could be, like, really up there with the original because you know, for me, the original is the best. Um, and I actually enjoyed 4. Uh, I know there are people who aren't fond of 4, but uh, one day when I will talk about all these films individually, because I probably will at some point, it's just a matter of when. Um, but maybe in a few years, but th there's some stuff about you know Jigsaw and how with how three ended, it's very interesting how it's like, well, how could there be another movie? It's like, there's so much is going, so much has happened and it makes it seem like, wow, we're, we have con sort of concluded, but no, four is able to make it like, yeah, no, no, we're not, we're not done. No, we can keep going. And, um, you know, obviously that could mean multiple things, obviously, if how three seemed like it concluded the story, but um, but if you haven't watched these films, you might not know what all happened, You or you probably wouldn't know, so who knows, maybe some people have said enough stuff that you might have been interested, but then too many spoilers were said there, like, well, I'm not going to watch them now, I pretty much know what happens, and you know, and I can understand that. Um, but, you know, they are able to keep it going. Five was kind of, eh. Six was good. And then seven was, mm, eh. I kind of give seven a, uh, some slack. And I know perhaps one shouldn't because of how it turned out. But that was supposed to be two films. Um, but because of the poor box office of uh, the sixth film due to paranormal activity, coming out before, and so people went and watched that instead of the next Saw film. Um, they decided to put the two films into one, and the last film at that point, you know, the seventh film, <coughs> film was uh, uh, 90 minutes, so, you know, I mean, for the most part, these movies are within the 90-minute range, you know. Three was... Uh, closer to two, and then with the director's cut DVD, 
it is over two. And Saw 10 is, you know, like two hours also. You know, over two hours. So you can definitely do a Saw film, you know, longer than the 90 minute mark. But 90 minutes is the general uh, length of the, these films. Um, so you can definitely uh, watch them uh, within a few days. Not necessarily a few days ago. I guess if you had like a week and you could bang them out one by one by one over the course of a week. And I, I took like a week and a half to watch all these films and uh, that was something. It was actually fun. You know, even some of the entries that I'm not really super, I don't super love. I, I kind of enjoy just watching them back to back to back, you know. Which is kind of nice, you know, some entries you weren't, you're not the biggest fan of, you can be like, eh, actually, you know, this way, I I enjoy it, it's fun, I'm fine, or, you know, what have you. <laughs> you're kind of in that world and invested, so that's nice. The original Saw was very uh, simple, simple premise. Um, Yeah, I'll probably... In a few years or so, watch these film. Well, watch these again and do probably for like a Halloween season throughout the week. You know, here and there. Uh, uh, just talk about all the movies, and there will probably be, uh, be another one by the time because you know Saw Eleven will is happening. <clears throat> you know because. You know, if some of the people involved with these franchise with this franchise want to keep making more, they will. And if they keep making money, obviously that's a even bigger incentive to keep making more. Because these films were not overtly expensive to make, you know, a few million here and there, and uh, they make hundreds of millions. So it makes sense to keep uh, cranking these out. You know, they don't cost a whole lot. Even though some of the traps are very interesting and quite creative. So to some extent, it's like, you know, you have to spend some a good amount of money uh, there uh, in certain traps. Or for certain traps in order to <clears throat> have it work. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I enjoy the, these films. I know they are not for everybody. And they're often labeled torture porn. That's because of the media. You know, these movies as they went on were more graphic and gory. You know. And so because of that, they uh, thought, well, the only reason people like these movies because they keep making money. Uh, and they seem to get more and more graphic with each film. Well, people love them to be, love watching people torture. So they're torture porn. Same thing with hostile. So that just that just is a, it's one of those terms that's stupid, moronic that the media created. But you know, it's one of those things that doesn't really mean much. It's just another uh, thing. Like it's a, in a way, they're slasher films, but <clears throat> not in the sense like of a Friday the Thirteenth or Nightmare on Elm Street or. Uh, uh, Halloween or Scream, where there's a masked killer going around and killing people. Oh, Freddy Krueger doesn't have a mask. He has a fedora, and he's burnt. Uh, and he wears a Christmas sweater and uh, and has knife fingers. Or uh, wears a glove with knives on them on the end of the fingers. You know what I mean. But yeah, with these, you know, you got a a, a voice of. I want to play a game. And uh, Billy the Puppet. Let's see. Billy. Where is Billy? I know Billy's here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. There's Billy. Look at that. Isn't that a great mascot? Yeah. People say he's creepy. 
You know, he may be right, but you know, he's got a little bow tie, swirl on his cheeks, or you know, spiral, red eyes, gloves, and a suit and everything. Very well dressed doll, puppet. I'm sorry. But yeah, the Saw films. Not everybody will enjoy them, but that's completely fine. Yeah, I like them. I think they're uh, very interesting, and the story is very good. I think you know, I've always enjoyed the story and the uh, reoccurring characters in these films. You know, uh, just very well done movies, in my opinion. Um, obviously, if you're not a big fan of horror, you'll probably want to skip this franchise. Though I will say, I think if you are curious enough, you know, watch the first one. Um, it's a it's a good film. I think even people who aren't big horror fans could enjoy it because it's also like a mystery. Like, who's the jigsaw killer? You know, like, who is Jigsaw? Who's the man behind the voice and the puppet and everything? And there's a, a pig mask involved with wearing stuff, so, yeah. There you go. Isn't that great? Yeah. So yeah, that's Saw. Uh, the Saw uh, franchise, 20 year, the 20th anniversary edition. So anyway, um, yeah. That's all I have to say about Saw. What do you think about Saw uh, and this franchise? If you've watched them, do, have you enjoyed them? Uh, do you like some and disliked others? Or... Do you enjoy all of them, or have you always disliked them all for one reason or another? Obviously, you may uh, give your thoughts in, in the comments below if you like. Um, and if you've only seen one, you can, like if the first one, you can just give your thoughts on that, and then there you go. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this, and I hope you're all doing well please take care and uh, have a great rest of your weekend and a great week i'll see you next time